Hi students, today I am going to explain how to study the characteristics of PN junction diode using this apparatus. So this is my PN junction diode. So this is my P side of the diode, P side and this is my N side of the diode. So we have a, a 2 voltmeter in this apparatus. So this is my voltmeter I am going to use for my forward bias. This is the voltmeter I am going to use for my reverse bias. This is the ammeter I am going to use for both forward as well as reverse bias. So first I will explain the, the theory part. So I am going to start with. So this is my PN junction diode. This silver line stands for N side. This black line which stands for your P side. So now I am going to to draw the circuit diagram so if we have a pn junction diode so this is my p side and this is my n side so when p side is connected with the a positive terminal of the battery this is my positive terminal of the battery and this is my negative terminal of the battery when p side is connected with the positive terminal of the battery then it should be forward bias so I just want to find, I just want to measure the voltage drop across this diode. So I am going to place a, a voltmeter here and uh, I just want to study about the current through this PN junction diode. So I am going to uh, place a ammeter here. This is going to be milliammeter. But in the case of reverse bias, so we have a diode so the p side of the diode is connected with the negative side of the battery then it should be reverse bias so i'm going to place the uh, voltmeter b and ammeter to measure the amount of current flows through this so this ammeter is running at my micro ammeter 10 power minus 6 here is 10 power minus 3 so this is my voltage versus current this is i'm going to take readings for your forward bias this is a uh, table i'm going to take readings for your reverse bias so first i will explain what is the range of the voltmeter and uh, what is the least count of this voltmeter as well as the ammeter so this is the voltmeter i'm going to use for the forward bias this is the voltmeter i'm going to use for the reverse bias so first i'm going to explain this part so in this case so we have voltmeter with a range of 2 to uh, 0 to 2 so i can measure up to 2 volt using this voltmeter so then how can i find the least count of this voltmeter so the number of lines between 0 to 0 0.5 is 10 so the 0 0.5 is divided by 10 is nothing but 0 0.05 is my least count of this voltmeter so each line in this voltmeter is 0 0.05 volt so this is called your least count of this voltmeter so then how can I find for this ammeter so the range of this ammeter is 0 to 30 so 0 to 30 milliampere I can measure using this ammeter. Then what is meant by least count of this ammeter? So the number of lines between 0 to 5 is 10. So 5 milliampere divided by 10 is starting by 0 0.5 milliampere. So each line, each line in this Milliameter is nothing but 0 0.5 milliampere. So next we are coming to this voltmeter. So this is a voltmeter I am going to use for the reverse bias. So here the number of divisions from 0 to 10. So the range of this voltmeter is 10 volt. The number of divisions between 0 and 2 is 10. So 2 divided by 10. So 0 0.2 volt. So the each line in this device is 0.2 volt. So this is the least count of this device. So the least count of this voltmeter is 0.2. So 
the least quantity of this ammeter is 0.5 milliampere the, the least quantity of this voltmeter is 0.05 volt so using this apparatus i am going to explain how to study the characteristics of the pn junction diode so when my p side is connected with my positive terminal then it should be forward bias so listen here my p side is connected with the positive side so this is my positive side of the battery illuminator this is my variable battery i can vary my potential across the pn junction diode using this knob so this is my positive side and this is the negative side so my p side is connected with the positive so in this case my p side is connected with the negative side this is going to be reverse bias so when i place my switch here is going to be reverse bias when i move my switch here is going to be a, a forward bias so first i am going to study the characteristics of the forward bias so first we are going to focus only this voltmeter and this milliampere so i am going to switch on this now see now there is no this is zero this is also zero for the forward bias so now i'm going to increase my voltage slowly so now we are in the second line which is going to be 0.1 so we got each line is 0.05 so now my voltage is 0.1 volt my current is zero i'm putting this from 0.2 because now the line in the fourth line so now in needle in the fourth line 4 into 0.05 is my 0.2 volt again my current is going to be zero so now i'm going to increase the value now 0.3 volt again my current is zero so i'm measuring here So now I'm going to increase my value. Zero point four. Current is zero. So now this is going to be zero point five. My current is again zero. So now we are in zero point six. So when we are in zero point six, the current starts increasing. Zero point six. The current starts increasing. The current value is. Five lines, ah, huh? apo. So I can simply write this is my zero point six. My voltage is zero point six volt. My current is. We are in the fourth line. We are in the fourth line. So each line is zero point five. So it's going to be zero point two. Okay. So now we are going to increase from zero point. Six two. Now the voltage is zero point seven volt. Here my current increased drastically from here to here. So now we are in the before ten na ten nine zero point. So for seven volt, we have a current of nine milliampere. And then if we increase further, so for seven point five itself, it exceeds the maximum value. So for seven for 
it exceeds the range so i suppose i must take 30 milli ampere so this is the value for your forward bias so now i'm going to explain for the reverse bias so these are the observations we are taking here so for 0.1 volt zero so up to 0.5 volt my current is zero under forward bias so once the system at <coughs> once the value reaches 0.6 volt my value of current is 2 milliampere 0.7 is going to be 9 milliampere after 0.75 it exceeds my range so 30 milliampere so now i'm going to plot a graph for this so if i will like first i will explain i will take the reading for this for reverse bias when my p side is connected with the negative terminal of the battery so in this case my p side is connected with the negative terminal of the battery so i'm going to move from here to here so now we are going to focus these two readings this is my change in voltage this is my change in current so in this apparatus we have only milliampere so i'm measuring this value in milliampere so i'm going to increase my voltage so now the value is in 1 volt for voltage 1 volt current is 0 for 2 volt the current is again zero listen here in this case at 0.6 itself we getting finite current here up to 2 volt there is no current there is no increase in my current which means my pn junction diode will will contact under forward bias under reverse bias which will not follows the current so now i'm going to increase from 2 to 3 again there is no increase in my current so for 3 volt my current is zero for 4 volt listen here this is a for 4 volt my current is again zero for 4 volt my current is again zero so when my voltage attains 4.4 yeah each line is 0.2 ah so 4.4 the current starts increases so for 4.4 my current value is approximately 4 milliampere See here after my current increase drastically for the same value 4.4 for a 4.4 value there is no further increase in my voltage see listen here if i increase my voltage there is no drastic increase in my voltage but my current increases drastically so for 4.4 volt taking this for 4. 6 yeah so 4. point yeah to get so this is not a 4.4 this is 4. Point 6 next again for 4.8 it increases from 4 to 10 and 15 the same 4.8 so there is no further increase in from from here so this my 4.8 is called your breakdown voltage so once the system attains the 4.4.8 volt there is no further increase in the voltage but there is a drastic increase in the current so listen so 
up to 4 volt my current is 0 for 4.6 it starts breakdown it starts increasing my current from uh, 4 and then for 4.8 it's going to be 10 4.8 is going to be 15 so my 4.8 is nothing but my breakdown voltage so if I plot a graph between voltage and current I can study the characteristics of forward bias if you plot a graph between these two values i can study the characteristics of the reverse bias so here my current increases in milliampere because in under forward bias this is a current due to the majority carriers my electrons move from n to p and holes move from p to n but in the case of this after this breakdown attains after this breakdown voltage there is a motion of your minority carriers so the holes from n to p and the electrons from p to n so because of the c motion of the minority carriers here my current will increase drastically so this particular voltage is called your breakdown voltage my 4.8 is called your breakdown voltage this is in the order of 10 power minus 6 this is in the order of 10 power minus 3 so if you like this video Share with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get the regular updates. Thanks for watching.